Welcome to another episode of The Epic Family Road Trip. In this week's episode, after I got back from Florida, we packed up everything and left Flagstaff heading north to the northern part of Arizona to visit some of the sites that we had missed on our first round in 2016. The first place we went to is called Antelope Canyon and it's on Navajo land and it's a guided tour but what an amazing place just absolute wonderful beauty like you've never seen before from the surface you would hardly even know the canyon was there the land almost touches but then you go down the stairs and into this it just opens up an almost like cavernous area can't wait to show you the footage from our trip through Antelope Canyon and by the way Jason our guide awesome job buddy best guy. he's a fun guy he knows everything about the canyon, where to take the best pictures. So we had a really good time going through Antelope Canyon. Canyon, you had all the sand dunes in the horizon, but it surrounded you. That's because the petrified sand dunes. So we make our way right over here, guys. Show you guys another So it's not really. We're here in northern Arizona, going through a place called Can uh, Antelope, not Cantaloupe, Antelope Canyon, and it's spectacular. The water has carved all these channels here, right up to the blue sky, way up there. We're in the lower Antelope Canyon. Um, there's also an uh, upper, but this one is spectacular. I think it has everything the upper has, but both are probably worth a visit. But it's extremely deep, as you can see, and the water is carved with all these amazing, what do they call it, uh, Navajo sandstone. And uh, it's called a, a slot canyon. Over the years, the water comes through a couple times a year, it flash floods, and it bounces off the sides and it hits, it digs these corners and waves. And, Definitely worth coming to check out. Wow. 
right back from where I started. Warmer out here. You'd almost not even know it's there. Yeah. Wow, imagine if you were just walking. You would not know that's there. It's unbelievable. You can... If you were just riding by, you'd be like, well, If you look at the... It's so narrow on top, you, you would hardly even notice it's there, but as you'll see from the video, underneath is an amazing, beautiful cavern. Alright. So, what I'm going to show you guys is a little water demonstration. Kind of give you guys a little better inside and how a slot can is work. So what you have here is you have your sand dune, you have your rainwater. So what would happen is you would rain on the sand dune, creating a, its first layer of, a, of mud, kind of seeping down into the sand dune. The following you would have a dry, kind of a dry windstorm blowing a layer of uh, dry sand on top of your layer of mud. So, rain, wind. This is a continuous process that's going to keep on occurring. Now, in the last few millions of years of its creation, the wind is going to be at its strongest. Now when the wind's at its strongest, it's gonna blow away what we call our surrounding sand. Actually pick this up now, move this around. So if I pick this up, you guys look on the bottom there, you see all the striations, the layers stacking on top of each other there on the bottom. So this symbolizes the Navajo sandstone. Now, when the flash flood comes through, it's gonna carve its way through the rock. Now, remember I was saying, basically a slot canyon is how water paints itself into the canyon walls. Now watch as I break this apart. Now look at the, you guys see the ripples there on the side on the canyon wall? Basically the water painted itself into the, the wall there. Yeah. So how you guys got those uh, pretty pictures and the nice lighting down there? So you guys kind of cool. understand how a slot canyon is formed, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Travels, of course. <laughs> Safe travels, you guys. After a wonderful tour through Antelope Canyon, we jumped in the RV and drove about 17 minutes away to a place called Horseshoe Bend which is a huge meander and another canyon dug by the Colorado River. It's a must see. If you're if you're at Antelope Canyon anyway, it's really literally just around the corner and you can hike out there and, and there's no fee um, and just get some spectacular pictures. It's a really neat place to hike but just don't go near the edge. It's like thousand 2,000 foot drop into the water. So be careful, but have fun. It's, it's definitely a place you should visit if you're in Northern Arizona.
After Horseshoe Bend, we headed up to Grand Canyon National Park, where we took a nice hike along the South Rim Trail. second time visiting in a couple of years. We came in 2016. It's amazing. We're really excited that we get to go again. Um, this time we're going to try to get some really neat footage for you and maybe even camp in the park. We're going to take a look and see if there's camping available inside the national park. See the river down there? Way down. Hey, we just went to the backpack, or sorry, the backcountry office, and normally you have to wait oh, one to four months. You have to plan in advance, but they found us. We got the last sites, and so we are going on a two-night hiking trip into the Grand Canyon. Woo. Now make sure you stay with us for next week's episode because it's going to be an epic hike. We go all the way down three days and two nights to the bottom of the Grand Canyon to the Colorado River and then back up to the top. You're not going to want to miss that. And in the meantime, we'll, we'll see you down, down the road. road.